Okay guys, today I'm going to be airing out some of America's dirty laundry today and as it pertains to Greenland. It is pretty wild, filled with intrigue. I first learned about this when I was researching for the episode in Greenland and I could not believe what I was reading. We begin our story. 1939, start of World War II, Greenland is at the time a colony of Denmark. In April 1940, Nazi Germany occupies Denmark and this puts Greenland in a very interesting spot because their colonizer is now occupied. So Greenland did not want to enter the war and the US at the time was neutral. So with the help of the Danish ambassador into the US, uh, they have an agreement written up with the US which pretty much de facto makes Greenland a protectorate of the US. So the US is saying, yeah, we will help protect you from Nazis. Um, in exchange, we can basically do what we want and put our military and whatever else we want on Greenland. And that is what happens, except that in December of 1941, America enters the war and Greenland, despite not wanting to be in the war, lands up being a very strategic place in the war for the US and the allies. World War II ends and Denmark is like, hey, we're not occupied anymore, so US, you can leave Greenland now. And the US is like, that's adorable. This is what we see your options are. One, you can give us a 99 year lease on all of our air bases in Greenland. Two, we could just do all of the defense for Greenland and just take it over. Or three, we could buy Greenland from you. Donald Trump wasn't the first person to try to buy Greenland. Denmark is like, um, I think we're gonna put a hard no on all of those options, but let us think about it. They go, they think about it, and they realize that basically the US has come out of World War II with a lot of power, they're basically a huge bully, and they're not gonna be able to force them to leave Greenland. So in 1951, Denmark comes back to the US and they're like, we get it, you're a bully, we can't make you move. Let's sign a treaty that says you can have one air base. And US is like, sweet. And Denmark is like, the caveat is you can only do stuff on that airbase, and if you do anything outside of that airbase, you have to ask us for permission. US, got it. Gotta ask you for permission. So the US starts um, expanding the airbase up there, and because Denmark still has pretty much total control over Greenland at this point, Denmark forcibly removes Inuit communities who have lived there for generations and generations and relocates them to a shittier location so that the US can expand their airbase which they do. So in 1957, Denmark becomes a nuclear free zone, which means that in times of peace, they say we will have no nuclear weapons anywhere in Denmark or Greenland. And now the prime minister of Denmark knows that the US gets up to some shady shit with nuclear weapons. And he's like, Ugh, I don't wanna say no to the US cause they are scary. Uh, so instead what he does is he has a meeting with the American ambassador, does not bring up nuclear weapons at all. And afterwards he sends a memo to the ambassador that says, hey, so you didn't mention any sort of special munitions you might have at the base. And so I'm not gonna ask you about it. And the US is like, got it. So after a couple of years, uh, the US is like, oh, hey Denmark, by the way, we've started building outside of the air base. And Denmark is like, what the fuck? We said you needed permission to do that. And the US is like, no, no, no. We asked for permission. You just like took so long to respond. So we just like started building it anyway. And Denmark's like, oh my gosh, these Americans are going to kill us. And then the US goes, oh, by the way, also we brought a nuclear reactor out to where we're building. And Denmark is like, why the fuck would you do that? And the US is like, well, this thing is called Camp Century and it's a scientific experiment to see if we can live under the ice cap. And we need a nuclear reactor uh, so we can have electricity out there. And Denmark's like, oh my gosh. Okay, fine, you guys can do that, but like, just don't tell anyone. So the US um, is like, awesome. And then they launch an entire PR campaign in the US to boast about Camp Century. But after like several years, they sort of give up on Camp Century and Denmark is like, whew, we dodged a serious bullet. Then about 10 years later in 1968, um, a plane that is carrying four nuclear bombs 
crashes off the coast of Greenland. And the world is like, what the fuck? Why were there nuclear bombs being carried over Greenland? Denmark isn't supposed to have any nuclear bombs. And both uh, Denmark and the US are like, oh, no, no, no. Um, it was just like a fluke. The Americans got lost. And the world is like, okay, well, Americans are stupid. So that makes sense. So then in the 90s, a lot of stuff from this era gets declassified because of the Freedom of Information Act in the US. And that is when the Danish find out that their prime minister basically said that the US could have uh, nuclear weapons in Greenland, that that flight that crashed was not a fluke and that the US had been constantly bringing in nuclear weapons. But then, and this is the kicker, Denmark found out that Camp Century was actually a cover for a top secret par project called Project Iceworm, which the US was seeing if they could build a nuclear missile launch base underneath the ice cap where they would launch 600 nuclear missiles basically aimed right at Russia during the Cold War. But they didn't realize that the ice cap moves, so all of their tunnels that they had built were gonna be crushed in like a matter of years. So the US just abandoned the project, hence when they abandoned Camp Century before, but they just left their nuclear waste in the ice being like, oh, it's frozen in there, it will never melt. And now flash forward with climate change, the ice is melting and there's all this nuclear waste that will probably get released into the environment. So as you may have guessed, the US was like, <laughs> yeah, we're not cleaning that up. And Denmark to Greenland was like, hey, you guys are like, you know, home rule and everything. You pretty much govern yourselves. You can probably take care of this now. And Greenland was like, um, fuck no, Denmark, you are directly responsible for this happening. So you need to handle this. So Denmark has agreed that they will clean up 30 of America's sites because America didn't just leave behind one site. They've left 30 sites behind. But this actual Camp Century is still too far beneath the ice and it hasn't been decided who's gonna clean it up. So who knows? And that is just part of the wild history of the US and Greenland.